Welcome to our presentation on COVID-19. As the fight against COVID-19 continues, vaccination is one way to slow the spread and protect yourself. Chances are you know someone who's already been vaccinated. Still, you may be concerned about safety and wondering when to schedule the vaccine for yourself. If you have questions about the COVID-19 vaccine, here are some answers. Please note, all information in this presentation is considered current at the time we produced it. Our information sources will be listed throughout the presentation for your future reference and up-to-date guidance. Diagnostic testing can be done to find out if you're currently infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Coverage for testing depends on your status. TRICARE for Life beneficiaries must follow Medicare coverage rules, and TRICARE will process the claim as secondary payer. If you're a TRICARE beneficiary and currently experiencing symptoms, contact your health care provider for further guidance. TRICARE covers COVID-19 tests when medically necessary. To be medically necessary means it is appropriate, reasonable, and adequate for your condition. Do not show up at a hospital or clinic and ask to be tested. A TRICARE authorized provider must order the test. The provider must also perform the test at a TRICARE authorized lab or facility. An authorized provider is any individual, institution, organization, or supplier that is licensed by a state, is accredited by a national organization, or that meets other standards of the medical community and is certified to provide benefits under TRICARE. There are two types of TRICARE authorized providers, network and non-network. The Secretary of Health and Human Services issued an emergency declaration that justifies the authorization of emergency use of tests for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. The FDA must review and authorize all SARS-CoV-2 tests for emergency use. This includes laboratory-developed tests. If a test isn't authorized by the FDA, it can't be used for diagnostic testing. Tests may take samples from the human body. This includes swabs of mucus from inside the nose or back of the throat, or blood taken from a vein or finger stick. They detect diseases or other conditions. There are several types of SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 related tests. Diagnostic tests, such as molecular tests and antigen tests, detect parts of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Tests for management of COVID-19 patients detect biomarkers related to inflammation. Once patients are diagnosed with COVID-19, these additional tests can be used to make decisions about patient care. Serology, or antibody tests, detect SARS-CoV-2 virus antibodies but aren't commonly used to diagnose a current infection. How long it takes to receive test results can vary. Depending on testing type and site, results can be available within minutes or from two to five days or longer. The Department of Defense, in collaboration with the Department of Health and Human Services, has launched a program to provide COVID-19 vaccines to service members, retirees, and their families. Starting April 19, 2021, all eligible and authorized TRICARE beneficiaries can make a COVID-19 vaccine appointment as available at a DOD vaccination site. There are addresses on your screen to these sites as well as pharmacies participating in the Federal Retail Pharmacy Program. Vaccine availability may vary by location. Eligible TRICARE beneficiaries can make a COVID-19 vaccination appointment at a military hospital, clinic, or vaccination site. This includes U.S. Family Health Plan enrollees. Visit the COVID-19 DOD Vaccination Appointments page to see DOD vaccination locations and which appointment tools each location is using. You can also get the COVID-19 vaccine at a local or state health department COVID-19 vaccination site, your civilian provider, 
or pharmacies participating in the Federal Retail Pharmacy Program. The vaccine itself is offered at no cost, but there may be other fees based on your plan for an office visit or if you require follow-up care. You may be able to book an appointment at a military hospital, clinic, or vaccination site with the new Defense Health Agency Appointment Portal, or DAP. DAP is a simple online tool to help you schedule the time and date for your COVID-19 vaccination appointment at your closest military hospital or clinic. It is accessible from outside the Department of Defense network on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. If you haven't already been vaccinated, you may be wondering, why should I get the vaccine? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, a COVID-19 vaccine may be an important tool in stopping the pandemic. It may be an effective way to lower your risk of contracting the SARS-CoV-2 virus and COVID-19 disease, and may help keep you from getting seriously ill if you do catch the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Getting vaccinated may also protect the health of the people around you, especially those who are at increased risk of severe illness if they contract COVID-19. We do know that COVID-19 vaccines may be effective at preventing severe illness and death from COVID-19. Other prevention steps can help stop the spread of COVID-19 too, and these steps are still important even as vaccines are being distributed. According to the CDC, COVID-19 spreads person to person, generally between people within six feet from one another. It also spreads through respiratory droplets from the cough or sneeze of an infected person. These droplets can reach the nose, mouth, and lungs of nearby people. It's possible that the virus can spread from contact with infected services, but this isn't the main way the virus spreads. People with COVID-19 have reported a wide range of symptoms ranging from mild to severe. Symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure to the virus. Some of the symptoms associated with COVID-19 include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, and or diarrhea. Seek emergency medical attention right away if you notice trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, new confusion, inability to wake or stay awake, and or bluish lips or face. This is not a complete list of all possible symptoms. Consult your medical provider for any other symptoms that are severe or concerning to you. Call 911 or call ahead of your local emergency facility and notify the operator that you are seeking care for yourself or someone else who has or may have COVID-19. Visit the CDC's website at the URL on your screen for more information. Although some spread appears to be possible before people show symptoms, those with COVID-19 are the most contagious when they're very sick. That's why you should stay home if you believe you're experiencing any virus-like symptoms. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, have been in close contact with a person sick with COVID-19, or have traveled to an area with widespread or ongoing community spread of COVID-19, do not make an appointment or walk into your local military hospital or clinic. Stay at home and speak with a military health system, MHS, registered nurse, who will assess your symptoms. The nurse can screen you for potential or suspected exposure or infection. There are elements of the virus that we are still learning about. Early data shows the vaccines may work against some variants, but could be less effective against others. Ongoing research is looking into how well the vaccines may protect people with weakened immune systems, including people who take immunosuppressive medications. Studies are also examining how well COVID-19 vaccines do at keeping people from spreading the disease. Early data shows that the vaccines may be helping people from spreading COVID-19, but we are learning more as people get vaccinated.
We're also unsure how long COVID-19 vaccines may protect people. The CDC will continue to update recommendations for both vaccinated and unvaccinated people. Until we know more, everyone, even people who've had their vaccines, should continue taking steps to protect themselves and others as recommended. To learn more, visit the URL on your screen to read the CDC's recommendations. This guidance applies to COVID-19 vaccines currently authorized for emergency use by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which includes Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, or J&J, &J, COVID-19 vaccines. This guidance can also be applied to COVID-19 vaccines that have been authorized for emergency use by the World Health Organization, such as AstraZeneca and Oxford. As with any medical treatment, there are risks. The vaccines may cause side effects in some people such as sore muscles, feeling tired, or a mild fever. For most people, these side effects will last no more than a day or two. Having these side effects doesn't mean you have COVID-19. If you have questions about how you're feeling after your shot, contact your provider or call the MHS Nurse Advice Line. It's rare, but if you have severe allergic reaction, call 911 or go to your nearest emergency room. A severe allergic reaction will usually occur within a few minutes to one hour after getting a dose of the vaccine. According to the CDC, Adults of any age with certain underlying medical conditions are at increased risk from severe illness from COVID-19. These conditions include cancer, chronic kidney disease, COPD, heart conditions, and several others. Let's review some frequently asked questions. If I already had COVID-19 and recovered, do I still need the vaccine? COVID-19 vaccination should be offered to you regardless of whether you already had COVID-19. However, if you are currently infected with COVID-19, you should wait to get vaccinated until after your illness has resolved and after you meet the criteria to discontinue isolation. Is immunity from the COVID-19 vaccine better than natural immunity from infection? Getting COVID-19 may offer some natural protection, but experts don't know how long this protection lasts. The risk of severe illness and death from COVID-19 may outweigh benefits of natural immunity. COVID-19 vaccination may help protect you by creating an antibody or immune system response without having to experience sickness. Which of the COVID vaccines is best for me? All of the current vaccines have passed clinical trials and were shown to be effective at slowing the spread of the virus. In many cases, you may not have a choice of which manufacturer's vaccine you receive based on worldwide distribution of the various vaccines. If I get one of the COVID vaccines, can I still get COVID-19? The answer is yes. While vaccines help to stop the spread of the disease, they do not entirely protect you from contracting the disease. Will I experience side effects from a COVID-19 vaccine? You may. The most common side effects are pain and swelling in the arm where you receive the shot. You may also have fever, chills, tiredness, and headache. These symptoms are a sign that your body is building protection against the coronavirus, and they should go away within a few days. Contact your doctor if the side effects are worrying you or don't seem to be going away after a few days. Since vaccines, including the COVID-19 vaccine, carry a risk of allergic reactions, the CDC recommends that your vaccine provider monitor you for 15 to 30 minutes after vaccination. In the rare case that you think you're experiencing a severe allergic reaction after leaving the vaccination site, call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Can a COVID-19 vaccine make me sick with COVID-19? The answer is no, it can't make you sick with COVID-19. 
According to the CDC, none of the authorized and recommended vaccines contains the live SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19. When you do get the vaccine, though, your body will begin to build antibodies to protect you from the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. I'm pregnant. Is it safe for me to get the COVID-19 vaccine? If you're pregnant, you may be at higher risk for severe illness from COVID-19. Vaccination may reduce that risk and is available to pregnant women. Please consult your provider. While the COVID-19 vaccines may reduce some risks, they do not eliminate them. Please review all of the information here and at the sources we've shared or consult your medical provider to make the best decision for you and your family. The COVID-19 vaccine does not provide complete immunity, does not eliminate the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and COVID-19 disease, does not prevent death, does not guarantee you won't contract the virus, does not stop you from passing the virus on to others, does not completely eliminate the need for mask wearing and social distancing, does not eliminate the need for travel bans, does not eliminate the need for business closures, and does not eliminate the need for quarantine or lockdowns. Many viruses have come to America over the centuries, but vaccines have been developed to help overcome some of those viruses. These include measles, Spanish flu, swine flu or H1N1, and now COVID-19. Here we've listed some popular articles on topics such as vaccine eligibility and safety that you can find in our TRICARE newsroom online. You can also visit usa.gov forward slash coronavirus for more information on these and other topics related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, here are some additional online resources, including the CDC DOD, and more. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and found it useful. Please follow us and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at the addresses listed on screen.